following a rising number of murder cases at the short-term lease facilities, which has caused a stir among Kenyans, the government has announced plans to implement new measures targeted at protecting residential units and short-stay facilities, such as the Airbnb rentals. During a cabinet meeting chaired by President William Bruto on Wednesday, it was ordered that all common spaces of short-term rental homes be equipped with CCTV cameras for safety measures. Mike Kagwongo with the details. In order to safeguard residential units, hotels and short-term lease facilities, the government has declared its intention to impose new regulations. According to a meeting presided over by President William Ruto on Wednesday, the short-term stays residences should keep closed-circuit television CCTV cameras in all common spaces. The administration of these establishments must also guarantee the preservation of CCTV camera recordings, which can be accessed whenever necessary. They must also keep an up-to-date register, backed up by the appropriate identification documents, recording the confirmed identities of everyone coming into and going out of the building. A current and accurate log of all cars, rickshaws and motorcycles arriving and leaving the property must be kept as per directive from the cabinet to the administration of short-term lodging facilities. The cabinet has also decided that lodging facilities, residential apartments and Airbnb rentals must keep a security occurrence book in which major incidents and noteworthy events pertaining to the daily safety and security of residents, visitors and service providers are documented. According to Dr. Martin Koyabe, an ICT expert, the biggest challenge is when national security is used to infringe data protection and privacy of citizens. The biggest challenge that I see in this area is how national security, which is what this policy intends to enhance, is used or infringes on data protection and privacy of the citizens. Responsible governments around the world get a balance by imposing very, very, very severe penalties when either a government or an agency working with the government or even a private entity misuses this information. Dr. Koyabe says this is near impossible to achieve in Kenya today. The collection and of course storage of this information will mean that many of the data collectors will be responsible squarely on how they treat that information because it is a private information that belongs. Now, interior